So Alex, how you been dealing with this whole shutdown? I mean, I mean, it must be really hard for you. Yeah, no, I mean, what can I say? It really sucks. Uh, but I mean, it's it's difficult all around the world right now. Um, everybody's going through, you know, the same crisis. Uh, everybody's got things that they miss. Um, for me, that's skydiving. But I mean, I'm just taking it one day at a time. Just trying to go with the flow. Yeah, no, I feel that. And I guess that we're all in this together is sort of thing. Um, what have you been doing to keep yourself occupied? Um, just trying to stay busy. Uh, you know, um, luckily I have a dog, so uh, I get to take her on walks during the day. Um, so it's pretty much the only time I get to spend outside. Uh, I'll go for a drive every now and again, like... I need to go pick up some groceries. <sighs> things, things of that nature. Yeah. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. You know, I've just been trying to stay sharp, you know, stay uh, on top of my game, um, especially since basically <laughs> all of us are going to have to uh, take a recurrency course after all this is over. Um, I've also been perfecting my packing skills, uh, I've been practicing my EPs, uh, emergency procedures, it's very important. Look red, grab red, peel, pull. Grab left, peel, pull. Oh, and uh, now that I actually have some spare time, I started working on music again. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. I mean, everybody's got that, like, that thing that they do that keeps them sane. And the longer this goes on, the more, like, you know, it kind of gets to you mentally. So is there anything that you've been doing that kind of scratches the itch or the craving for skydiving? Um... Honestly, I don't know how much more I can take. What I fell in love with him, like a big part of it was, I'm like, oh my God, I'm like dating a dude that jumps out of planes. This is so fucking cool. And, um, and now that he can't do that, it's, it's consumed his whole life. And, and I'm part of his life, but I feel like I'm not even part of it anymore. All he cares about is him and his gear and the things he can't do which is jump out of planes. I can't help but notice that, you know, that's your fifth drink of alcohol in this five minute meeting. How have you been coping with uh, the, the everything right now? Drink. Look, let's just be honest, man. Your friends and family are worried about you. Um, they're concerned about you. Is there anything that you'd like to tell your friends, your family, those that are concerned about you, uh, anything you want to say to them to put their minds at ease? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, you, you, you're dressed up as a skydiver. I am a skydiver. Well, I know you're a skydiver, but 
you know, you can understand if people might be watching this and say, well, um, is he okay? You know, it's a, it's a very complex uh, condition, but to put it in simple terms, mm -hmm. uh, Alex is entering a state of full-blown psychosis. It's, um, it is every bit as serious as it sounds. And the situation is quite dire. And I think it's really important that we uh, discuss this condition tonight um, to get a really um, good understanding of what, we, of what ultimately we might be able to do, do to help him. Um, so, but to really understand the condition, you have to understand the root cause. And so to Alex, skydiving has become his true love. It's his identity. It's what he literally looks for. It's what he thinks about in the morning, it's what he dreams about at night. And now the one thing that he loves above everything else has been taken from him. And, uh, and if, if you can imagine as difficult it is, as it is to imagine to have the thing you love most taken from you very suddenly, it's extraordinarily traumatic. And, um, it's almost, uh, it's, it's quite difficult to even explain what he must be feeling. It's, it's a level of pain that I hope none of us ever have to experience. All right. Hey, Malachi, thanks for joining us. So let's just jump right in. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it been like living with Alex during this difficult situation? To tell you the truth, it's been, it's pretty annoying. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, now that you guys are quarantined together 24-7, what would you say has changed, if anything, as far as the dynamic of your relationship? For one, he's sleepwalking. I do miss when he was skydiving. Yeah. I had that alone time. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. So, Kate, I understand that you and Alex have been best friends since childhood, and you've been the one that he's been kind of confiding in the most. What's that been like? Well, uh, the other day he almost got me arrested um, and it was definitely a mistake to let him borrow my car. I mean, that motherfucker has always been crazy, but this, this is something else. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, and then when do you think that this whole thing is going to be over? When is stuff going to get back to normal? Is it going to get back to normal? Well, I mean, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Nobody, nobody really knows. Um, but I hope, you know, the sooner the better, uh, obviously. And I'm sure that everybody, you know, all the skydivers in the world are just anxious to get back up there, you know, blue skies and all. And just, you know, the entire globe is just waiting to get back out there and uh... Yeah. yeah, you know? No, I hear that, I hear that. It's a great question, and it's uh, very complicated. <laughs> this motherfucker, this guy's gone crazy. <laughs> and action, and action, action, and action, uh, and action, action. 